Okay, you're getting the value error in Microsoft Excel. Now, there's a host of different reasons why this might be the case. I'm going to look at the most likely reasons. So I look at basic calculations, date calculations, VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP, COUNTIF and COUNTIFs. That would also apply to SUMIF and SUMIFs. So let's start with basic calculations. All I'm doing here is working out the difference in sales between these two months. So I'm getting a value error for BABS. Looks as though I should have a difference of 125 because this cell is blank. But is it blank? If I double click in the cell, I can see that there is in fact a space and an apostrophe. Now the apostrophe indicates that there is a text value in the cell and that it is not empty. So if I backspace both the space and the apostrophe and press enter, I no longer get the error. Now, the error would also occur if you typed a visible text value in the cell, such as no sales. Now, if you had a very large data set, it's hard to spot where you have spaces in what appear to be empty cells. Now, here's a trick to find those cells that contain a space. What you do is you select the cells within that column. You go to the conditional formatting button on the home tab of your ribbon. You go to new rule. You go to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And then you click in this box down here. You type this formula equals is text, open bracket. And then you write the cell address of the first cell you selected in that column. So for us, that's B4. Close the bracket, click on the format button, select a color on the fill tab, click on OK, click on OK and it will highlight any cells that contain a text value. In this scenario, a space. Let's move on to date calculations where we have the value error. Now, the likely reason for this is that you've entered a date either that doesn't exist or that's in the wrong format. So you can see here, this date doesn't exist. There aren't 31 days in September. If I changed that date to the 30th of September, it gets rid of the value error. Now down here, this date does exist, but you can see that I'm using full stops here to separate the parts of the date. Now up here, I'm using forward slashes, and that's the correct format for users of Excel in the UK. However, for example, if you were in Germany, you would use full stops to separate the parts of a date. So the characters that you use to separate the parts of the date very much depend on your location. If I change these, full stops to forward slashes. It resolves the value error. Now we can use conditional formatting to quickly highlight cells that contain dates that are incorrectly entered. So if I select those cells in that column, go to conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And I type equals is text open bracket, and I type the cell address of the first cell that I've selected in this column, which is G4, close bracket, click on the format button, choose a color on the fill tab, click on OK, click on OK, and it will highlight the incorrect dates. Let's move on to VLOOKUP. Now, the most likely reason you're getting a value error when using VLOOKUP is that you've entered an incorrect value in the col index number argument. So the value must be numeric and it must be positive. So you can see here that I've accidentally typed a minus sign in that argument. If I take it out and press enter, it gets rid of the value error. The other scenario is that you might have typed in a letter and a number by accident, and that would also give you the value error. Let's look at XLOOKUP. Now the value error in XLOOKUP would be for a different reason. I'm just going to widen column Z. And if I look in this formula, my lookup array is column AA and my return array is column AB. Now the problem here is that these arrays are not the same size. The lookup array is larger than the return array and that's causing the problem. All I need to do is extend this return array so it's the same size as the lookup array. And then I get rid of the value error. 
Now let's look at this COUNTIF scenario. At the moment, I don't have the value error, but if I try to edit this cell and then press enter, you can see I then get the value error, be the same here. Now this is caused by the formula, the COUNTIF formula, referring to another workbook that is currently closed. If I open that workbook, and then just minimize it, you can see it gets rid of that error. Let's move on to COUNTIFs. Now let's look at this formula. So my criteria range one is the branch column. My criteria for that is in AN4. Criteria range two is the quantity column, and I've hard coded the criteria for that range directly into the formula. Now the problem here is very similar to the problem we had with XLOOKUP. The criteria range one is smaller than the criteria range two. I can see that just by looking at the last cell address. Criteria range one goes down to row 30. Criteria range two goes down to row 31. And if I looked in the actual database, I can see that that's the case. So all I need to do is extend this range. That's criteria range one. Press enter and it gets rid of that value error. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.